Hello everyone, Lau here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to day 9 of Vlogmas. So, I hope you're having a wonderful uh, holiday season so far and uh, from your comments I definitely uh, gathered the information that you also really enjoy the series so I'm super happy about that. Uh, happy how it goes because I'm feeling also better than the last days already so that's good and uh, I'm also happy that you a lot of you have watched already like yesterday's two videos of course yeah because yesterday I had uh, the big video as well like the normal you know toy hunt haul it was a huge Barbie haul so if you've not watched that one link is here or you just go to my channel you will find it and Guys, you are definitely killing it with the comments. There's so many uh, of you who are like giving me information or just telling me, oh, I had the same dolls or something like that. I love to read them all. So, and definitely um, thank you for all of you who also gave me like information, um, more to identify the dolls or about the Blinkins, etc. So, thank you for that. But I mean, let's keep it going. So, Let's open up the calendars. Advent calendar number one. We have got some cute stickers. And day nine. From tomorrow on we will have the like you know two numbers, not just one. I'm I always feel like when that happens then we are right in the middle of um, you know of, of December. Uh, until the point when we hit the 20s, then then it's like, oh my goodness, Christmas is exactly around the corner. Uh, where's actually the line? So still we have one number today. Where is it? Da, 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 there, up here. So I always could just see the 19. No, 9. Pink. Pretty big sticker. What is it? Uh, it's one of the super cute like Polly Pocket style compacts. She has a lot of these designs. They look like you've opened up one of the Polly Pockets. This one looks like a heart shaped and it's obviously not a recreation of an existing Polly Pocket because she puts it in her own style, like gives it her own twist with, you know, these are more the characters that she draws. They are way more cutesy. I mean, Polly Pockets are also cutesy, but like these are really like kawaii Japanese more in um, like inspired and then none of her like background really matches any real Polly Pocket but this is so good look at those colors pastel rainbow heaven and I mean there's obviously also other compacts than just Polly Pockets there's also Japanese Polly Polly Pockets yes they're called angel pockets but I'm not I'm, I'm not even talking about those there's like other like compact style toys especially from Japan that um, yeah that this could also be inspired by by those so just super super adorable and cute and let's keep it going with the other calendar um, okay seven eight nine there it is pink and I don't know what that is it rattles <laughs> hmm? oh we definitely have a Barbie accessory today and I remember I put something in there I think it's not even Barbie related. I just wanted to put like two things <laughs> in there. But uh, let's start with this because this is actually the um, like doctor suitcase. What are you calling these boxes for, for a doctor for Dr. Barbie? Um, not too long ago, you might remember, um, I found like one of those at a flea market. I was like, oh, that might be Dr. Barbie. And then I found out, well, it was actually Pet Dr. Barbie. So my Dr. Barbie currently has like uh, the one from Pet Dr. Barbie in her hand, which is like super similar. But um, now I can give her the real one. <laughs> 
that really belongs to her. She is super high up my shelves, but I'm trying to get her for you. So here's my Dr. Barbie. And yep, <laughs> she has the wrong box. Let's give her the correct one. There you go. So this is the Dr. Barbie that was released in 1993. This is probably one of the best-selling dolls of that like, you know, early mid 90s era because uh, I have proof that she was still featured in dealer catalogs um, for the like season 1995 and then released in 1996. So I have that one. It says Girls Toys Mattel 96. So that one would have been probably available to retailers in like early 96 or something. And she's still in here. Uh, and it doesn't say new anymore because for all the uh, toys where they are new, like here for example Teacher Barbie, it, um, it has a little new like sticker so to say on. So I, I know that she was released years, <laughs> multiple years because when she's from 1993 then she was um, like in stores for probably the first time in 1994 and um, oh no, a baby falls down. Uh, 1994 and then she was released again probably in 95 and then again in 96 so at least for two years she was on the shelves and that definitely shows she's not rare <laughs> you find her very often at the flea market um, she was never a doll that I really was super into but at one point I had like her complete outfit and then I was like okay then I found a doll that looked pretty good and um <coughs> She is working and now she has her correct little like doctor box, which is super cute. I don't know Woo. what I'm gonna do with pet doctor Barbies. Recently I also saw pet doctor Barbie at the flea market, but she was like complete with everything. So I, I also didn't buy her. She's also not a doll that I really want, but like I would have had this then like an extra one of this anyways. But let's have a look inside because I think there's even something else in don't think that I put anything Barbie related in there. Yeah, so it opens up. You, ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this was actually also sponsored by Cotton Candy Kittens. That was some something that she found at the flea market, like in a Barbie lot, whatever it really was, when she was like, I don't need it. Do you need it? And I was like, well, I actually have something very similar. Do I need it? But then she just gave it to me. So I included it in the calendar. Although the real thing that I was like, can you give me a couple of these for, for the calendar? Because they are doubles for you. It's actually this one and I just meshed them together. What is this? This is another strawberry shortcake mini. Uh, this poor girl actually is missing the face. So yeah, this is the front and the face is completely rubbed off. Um, I have to look up who this is. I think something with apricot or something. Uh, I have this little bunny. So here you can see this is one of the strawberry shortcakes with her little pet. So last time we had the lemon meringue and she was like without any pets. So she was sing single um, and, and here is for example a sculpt with a uh, pet together. Let me quickly check and get back to you which character this actually is. Yeah, I, I was kind of correct. The name is Apricot. So the character is called Apricot and uh, the little um, bunny is Hopsalot. And um, now I uh, researched a tiny bit more about the um, figurines. There were like three waves. The first one of these miniature figurines of Strawberry Shortcake in 80, then in um, the next one in 81 and I think the last one in 83. Yeah, uh, she's definitely from the first wave. Um, there were even three. I think this is across the waves, three apricots. One is just, this is the one just standing with Hopsalot. Then there's one uh, apricot with Hopsalot in a wheelbarrow and um, apricot dancing with Hopsalot. So she looks a little bit more like as she's uh, moving. 
They are sad that the face is missing. I mean, here this is what she actually would look like with her face. But I'm, I think I'm attempting to uh, repaint this. I mean, it's just like a couple of dots and yeah, let, let, let's try it. Because like this, this is pretty poor girl. Um, I just noticed there are also, there were some deluxe um, miniatures that even came with, um, you know, more accessories. So like with um, accessories to play with, like like a swing or, or I don't know, is that a, it's not a piano, but like things like furniture, a sewing machine or whatever, like little other accessories. But these are also all from the three normal waves. Also the, um, I think the one I showed you before, but yeah, hops a lot with, I mean, hops a lot <laughs> with apricot. Apricot with hops a lot. I tried, she's not scented, at least I cannot smell it. I mean, I, I'm also not really reliable in terms of smell right now with my cold, but uh, I, I don't know, I don't smell anything, but maybe gonna revisit this <laughs> in five days. <laughs> days. Um, maybe she's still scented. Okay, Dr. Pet, no, <laughs> Dr. Pet. Exchanging Pet Dr. Barbie for the correct Dr. Barbie case here and hops a lot with apricot or the other way around. Apricot with hops a lot. Let's get to Tommy's calendar. Mm -hmm. Which pony do we have to find today? Baby Firefly. So, here are definitely some babies. But she's not among them. There she is. Okay. Here it is. But I've noticed I have not really, like showed you the super cute ponies I cannot get it off but so I'm gonna hold a little bit longer on it this pony art is so gorgeous I mean look at that she's standing on top of a cloud and she has her baby necklace around the uh, well around her neck and she even has a purple ribbon in her on her tail they are so adorable but yeah, I can already see there is some kind of, uh, what is that, probably a vanity or something in there. So let's open that up and then I'm going to puzzle. Mm -hmm. Yes, a little vanity, exactly sized for petite ponies. <laughs> I guess you can already also like um, guess where that's leading but yeah here are the puzzle pieces and I also wanted to show you the puzzle again beforehand so that you can definitely see the progress I think we have some pieces of um, that looks to me like bubbles so they're gonna continue somewhere here so let's see so and here it is <laughs> so I built like this part and then really we are at the bottom we are at the bottom of the puzzle guys this is amazing i mean i can see it fits on the um on the tray at least like in the like um length or of the what is it the height that's the height of the puzzle so cool that's good but i still don't know if it is enough for the length of the puzzle so yeah we had the last like hoof part of Applejack, then also some of like the hoof parts of um, um, Bowtie, yeah that's Bowtie, and then part of Bubbles, and a tiny bit of uh, Firefly, because I think that, that attaches here at one point together to Firefly. And from this hole in the middle, I can definitely tell, yeah, that there, there must have been a mix up and a mistake when I accidentally then built these pieces. Yeah, that day I probably should have built these pieces but they are 
probably not lost at one point I will open them and then I can fill in this uh, this hole so I'm really excited <laughs> when that happens um, and yeah I don't know maybe at one point no, I think this is more more really in a straight line with um, more in line uh, with starshine here so don't think that I can attach that pretty soon but I already know that it can't be like deeper or lower than that so okay last calendar for today let's have a look which toy I am pulling out of the bag Another McDonald's bar. <laughs> we just had another one yesterday. But I mean, yeah, if there are two in, the uh, chances are I can pull out the other one the next day. Okay, let's have a look. This is definitely a ballerina. Oh, and she has glitter on her body. Probably a little discolored, and and she can, she can turn. Ooh, which makes sense for a ballerina, I guess. Yes, she is. Yes, she also has the same kind of super yellow hair. Love the swirls. The sculpts are really, really beautiful. The bow at the back, and bow in her hair, or multiple bows or whatever that is <laughs> glittery body I think that was probably not yellow to begin with here because also her tights a tiny bit yellowed then ginormous swirling <laughs> ballerina skirt and on the tippy toes Woo! what year is she from probably the same as the one from yesterday Yes, McDonald's, 1993. Um, yeah, that means she is one of the my first ballerinas from the early 90s. I don't have her because I don't have any doll with white legs. I have one of the my first um, ballerina Barbies, I think from 1993 or something. But she doesn't have uh, white legs. So that's not her. I cannot show you her and I also don't have her outfit yet. <laughs> uh, and I have another older ballerina Barbie, which you have not seen in, in any uh, toy hunting video yet. So I also don't want to spoil that and it's also not her. Um, let, me, let me check if that's really the one that I'm thinking of. So yeah, well, I have the feeling that from like maybe 89 or 90 up until 93 the my first ballerina Barbies that I can find online are all pretty similar and then I never really know which one is really which year um, fact is I think this I mean this McDonald's thing came out in 93 so I guess this is just gonna show you one picture here the one that they are referencing because um, definitely looks very like glittery the top um, this was also kind of the same uh, available also with purple and we're gonna you see here more the Teresa version but it's also available uh, was available in Barbie it's just the other way around like white skirt and then with purple top um, here's again the, the one that this one is probably referencing and the one I have it's called my glittering ballerina Barbie, but she had something else on. Um, but I just remembered, I actually do have one of those skirts. It's on my um, Jewel Secrets Whitney, because I have none of her original outfits. So this is the outfit that she is currently wearing in my collection. And the lower skirt that you can see here, you can, you can see a little bit of this purple down there. This is actually the ballerina skirt in purple so I mean from the way they are swirling they are like doing these waves you can tell it's meant to be the same skirt but this is like the purple version and this is like the pink version um, 
well, the, the doll is something completely different and she's just happening to wear this <laughs> skirt right now in my collection. Yeah, my first ballerina Barbie McDonald's version 1993. I love them. Yesterday um, someone commented like, oh, interesting. You mostly obviously like the ones that have brushable hair, for example, with ponies or with, you know, little pretties or whatever. Uh, but with these, you, you don't like uh, the, the brushable hair. Yeah, because on this scale and uh, in terms of, you know, the hair that McDonald's really used for them later on with the ones that have like brushable hair, this looks way better. <laughs> and a good sculpt, um, like, you know, good mold is also something that I really enjoy. I mean, for a while I was collecting uh, Funko Pops that kind of fell out of it. But I, what I also really liked is when they had like super nice, you know, swirly hair at the back or something from whatever characters I had, like Disney princesses and stuff. So this is kind of the same vibe. That looks better than when they would have done like hair, polypropylene hair on this like scale for the McDonald's ones. That's, that's why I prefer these that are just completely sculpted. And some of them have these fun features like this is like, um, like turning and then I don't know I have oof, I definitely have one of the uh, rollerblade Barbie that um, she has the platform has wheels on etc so yeah uh, I hope you enjoyed today's video again that was the last little thing we had the my first ballerina Barbie McDonald's or or it's not an ornament statue thingy here uh, we had this little cute Polly Pocket style sticker we had this little strawberry shortcake mini figurine. I showed you Dr. Barbie and we had the Dr. Barbie case. So quite a lot of stuff. Ah yeah, obviously also we have another little piece for the petite pony home probably. And I puzzled a little bit and then you even got to see how my Jewel Secrets Whitney currently is uh, dressed in my collection <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this little tidbit of anything and everything vintage toy related if you did please don't forget you can uh, give it a thumbs up you can comment down below and if you're not subscribed you can do that it's free it doesn't cost any money uh, so I would be happy about anything but I'm also very happy just when you're watching this so it makes me really happy um, and if you have not watched my like Barbie haul flea market thingy it's a long video so if you're nothing if you've nothing to do it's like about an hour so you can also watch that so thank you so much for watching see you real soon and may the toys be with you bye